kids, make sure you check out the links in our description to purchase Puppet Steve Legos and to check out our new line of Puppet Steve shirts. All right, Mortal Kombat fans, today it's going to be a really cool day because well, we've got the all new Mortal Kombat figures from McFarland Toys. And if it's one thing I love, it's opening up. Ha <laughs> ha, new Mortal Kombat figures. Oh, we've got the brand new wave. Check it out, we've got Liu Kang. We've got Shao Kahn. We've got one of my favorites, ooh, Noob Side Bot, as well as Cable. Wow, four new characters to add up into our lineup. Oh, this is perfecto. And it looks like McFarland Toys is going absolutely crazy with this lineup because in addition to these characters right here, well, we're also getting exclusive bloody characters. Wow, by GameStop. <laughs> and they've got bloody paint deco all over them. Crazy, so look at that. There's the clean next to the bloody version. And then it's the same thing with Noob Saibot. Oh, <laughs> clean and bloody. But I like the clean version, so let's start off with these guys right here. And if you want even more characters, bam, bam! Oh, my friend Toys gives us more spawn characters. Wow, we get the gold label spawn, which is all in yellow. Then we get a blue decorated one over here, which is super hard to find as well. Wow, cool. So yeah, a lot of different versions of spawn in addition to the regular spawn that we got a couple waves ago. Nice, oh, I just love this lineup. But yeah, if you just wanna open up the non-variants like I'm gonna do today, well, we've got four to open in all, starting with good old Liu Kang because he was from the first movie. Ah, oh, so cool, I just love Liu Kang, so get out of here, Liu Kang. We gotta open you up. And it's a good thing this guy comes with a base because I think he'd fall over. <laughs> He's got some scrawny legs there. But oh, I love the face sculpt. That is dead on. Looks just like Liu Kang from the video game. Wow, red bandana and all. So you gotta love that. He's got the cool outfit on. He's got awesome looking gauntlets around his arms there. Ooh, that is puppetastic as well. But yeah, I love all the red coloring on this guy. And as for that stance, oh brother, he's in an awesome fighting stance as well. And as for accessories, well, it looks like he comes with some nunchucks. Ugh, I can put it in his hands right there, and yeah, ta-da! Now he's ready for a Mortal Kombat with Sub-Zero. All right, and fight. Oh no, oh man, he's kicking his butt! Especially when he brings out that bicycle kick. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah, oh, that bicycle kick always kicks some major butt. Yeah, so there's Liu Kang, looking awesome as ever. And now I think it's high time we bring out oh, the big guns of the series, good old Shao Kahn. Wow, what a great looking figure, because he's the leader of the, uh, let's see, from the second video game. He was the last fighter to beat in that one. And oh, look at that ugly mug. Ooh, is that awesome or what? Oh, I love that skull and the little helmet things popping out of there. Oh, that looks great. And then we got the uh, arm pads with all kinds of little spikes on there. Oh, I love the tone of his skin. That looks great as well. Look at this, it just flips over the back. And the same goes with the uh, the pants as well. Look at this, oh man, just flipping all over. <laughs> Looking like Conan the Barbarian or something. Uh, I am Shao Kahn coming for you. You can't forget that awesome hammer Ooh, that he throws and smashes the enemies with. Wow, look at that. Oh, let's get the Mortal Kombat symbol right there. And I gotta say, when it comes to Shao Kahn, I am digging this figure. Oh, look at that. With this hammer in hand, kind of Thor-esque, cool. And with this base, he displays pretty nicely, especially when you put him up against the likes of Scorpion. Get over here, chunk. And, oh man, oh, he got out of it. Come here, you. Puh, 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 puh. Yeah, don't mess with Shao Kahn. I am the Ice Mist. Yeah! And with that, looks like we've got two awesome figures from this lineup. So now let's open up another one of my favorites. Good old Noob Saibot. Oh man, cool. Which made its first appearance in the second video game. Uh, as a hidden character. But now it looks like they gave him some more detail. When he first showed up, he was all in black like, uh, well, Sub-Zero here. But now they gave him his own outfit to kind of separate him from the rest. Boy, what an outfit that is, too. Who he's all cloaked up. You got all that menacing face. Ugh, so gross. Looks like he still has that face mask that, uh, like, just like with Sub Zero, covers his face. He's got that hood over his head. Nice. He's got the awesome arm pads. I just love his outfit there. So, just a lot of detail that McFarlane's known for doing with their awesome figures. 
And if you want to check out his weapon, oh, look at that, oh, that big old scythe we'll put in his hand, Ugh. which makes this figure look complete with this awesome base there. Oh, I just love it. So, yep, there's Noob Saibot, which is available now, and then we'll put it with the other figures. Oh, this lineup is looking incredible. Now, I just have to add in our last awesome character right here is Cable, which I think made his debut in the third video game. Yeah, that sounds about right. So let's get Cable out of here. And all right, so this is a character that's changed drastically over the years. Wow, he's got a new face plate on this time around. And yeah, he's got all kinds of battle gear on. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, some oxygen tank action right there too. So cool. There's Cable looking neat. As far as these accessories go, oh man, look at these Chinese weapons. So let's deck him out with these. Ugh. And yeah, looks like he's ready to whip some moral buttocks. <laughs> oh man, that's so awesome. So yeah, there's Cable. Looking pretty darn cool. Especially when you put him next to Noob Saibot. Now both these characters also come with bloody versions, which I don't really want to open up because I think these are exclusives to GameStop. So yep, we won't open these here today because I just love keeping our exclusives nice and pristine. But uh, yeah, if you want their regular counterparts, well there they are, Cable and Noob Saibot. All right, so here we have all four figures from the brand new wave of McFarlane Toys of Mortal Kombat. I gotta see, each one looks awesome, especially if you start including these other characters by Storm Collectibles. Uh, we can flesh out our awesome Mortal Kombat line like it's supposed to be. And don't forget, there are also a couple of different spawns you can collect, which I don't think they're out just yet, but they're coming soon. And then in the past waves, we gotta get a Johnny Cage. He's awesome, as well as Raiden. Yeah, two must-have figures for this collection, as well as Katana, Baraka. Oh man, this lineup is getting great. If you love Warhammer, well, you better check out these figures by McFarland Toys. We've got the regular Ranger right there, and then we've got the Sister Ranger right here. Oh, uh, two awesome figures. And if you love these, well, ba-bam! They've also made some artist proofs of the same thing, which are total grayscale without any paint on them. Nice. If you like those, we've got the special edition ones in gold and platinum. Wow, talk about rare. That's about as rare as it gets. Giving us six awesome figures in all for this Warhammer line. Ah, puppetastic. And if you want even more Mortal Kombat goodness, well, make sure you check out Storm Collectibles, because that's where we get the awesome figures of Scorpion, Sub Zero, and even Reptile. Oh, and they just made a new Raiden, too. So, oh, I just love these Mortal Kombat figures. All right, kids, well, there they are, the all-new Mortal Kombat toys, which I think you can pick up at places like Walmart and Amazon.com. So, yeah, there, go there for your, all your Mortal Kombat needs.